Hello, audiophiles of the internet, and welcome once again to Audio 46, your headphone destination. My name is Franco, and today we're going to be talking about a bit of a technical topic, and that is Bluetooth. This is a topic that a lot of you guys have questions about, and while there is a lot of information about Bluetooth in general on the internet, there is not a lot about the most recent updates of Bluetooth, including 5.1 and the forthcoming 5.2. Now, you may think that this is because not much changes in between a .1 and a .2 update of a piece of software, but I'm here to tell you that you're wrong because Bluetooth 5.1 and 5.2 have both introduced small yet pretty significant changes, and I think 5.2 in particular is going to be a really big deal. We're going to cover the details of all of this and more, so stick around if you want to learn about that because we're going to get into it right now. Okay, so first things first, in order to understand Bluetooth 5.1 and 5.2, we first need to talk about Bluetooth 5.0. Now, obviously, this is a technology that has gone through a lot of different versions and updates since its inception in the late 90s. Basically, all of the updates that came from 1 to 4 were obviously very important and very substantial, but they were the regular updates that would occur as technology gets better over time. None of them were really super radical. The biggest tangible changes in Bluetooth technology came when we jumped from 4.2 all the way up to 5.0 in 2016. Skipping all those different decimal points is obviously a pretty significant jump. Among the biggest features and updates of Bluetooth 5.0, one of the biggest and the most significant was obviously that it can transfer data at two times the speed of any of the other Bluetooth versions. This is immensely helpful for simple operations such as pairing, as well as eliminating latency when you're streaming videos over the internet. Bluetooth 5.0 also greatly transmitted the range over which signals could be exchanged between devices. The previous range was about 50 feet, and it could go farther if there were no obstructions in the way and you had a clear line of sight, but that rarely happens when you're using Bluetooth in a home or a work setting. Bluetooth 5.0 upped this all the way to about 120 feet, so even if you were in your house, you could be in different rooms, outside, in the backyard, there could be lots of stuff in the way, and your signal was still going to remain pretty strong, and it wasn't going to cut out. Finally, Bluetooth 5.0 probably warranted the jump to that brand new number because it introduced eight times the data capability of the previous versions. Improving your computing speed that much obviously opens up a world of possibilities, and one of the most prominent examples of this was the use of dual audio in the Samsung S8. The Galaxy S8 was the first smartphone to use this feature, and by way of that, they also kind of named it. Essentially, what this means is you can play audio over two connected devices at the same time. So you could have one phone streaming music to two connected Bluetooth headphones or to two different Bluetooth speakers. Changes like these that were introduced with Bluetooth 5.0 are obviously very important because they speak to a much larger emphasis on more speed, more data, and more usefulness, which you'll see has been what has been carried over in these latest updates. Now, it's important to start here with these fundamental changes that came about due to Bluetooth 5.0 because, as you can tell, 5.1 and 5.2 are built off of that technology. They are smaller updates of the general big update of Bluetooth 5.0. Now we're going to get into Bluetooth 5.1, which didn't see as many big drastic changes, but there were small improvements over Bluetooth 5.0, obviously. One of the biggest differences that was introduced in Bluetooth 5.1 was the use of different direction finding methods between devices. These different methods are angle of arrival and angle of departure, which essentially allows your devices to communicate and know exactly where they are in terms of their spatial relationship to one another. Previously, Bluetooth technology would just basically have to guess the distance between your devices based on the signal strength between them, whereas now this can be much more precise. Bluetooth 5.1 also introduced improvements in the pairing and caching processes that make discovery and advertising between devices a lot more efficient as well. Advertising here is the term for the processes that devices use to announce that they are ready to pair. The improvement in this area is due to something called randomized channel indexing. So basically, in previous versions of Bluetooth, a device would have to cycle through a specific set of channels in sequence in order to find the item that it was trying to pair to. With Bluetooth 5.1, those channels can be accessed at random without having to go through all of them in sequence. This makes the process a lot faster and also lowers the likelihood of interference between many different Bluetooth devices trying to be connected at the same time in the same place. This finally brings us to the latest in Bluetooth technology, and that is Bluetooth 5.2. And while it is not widely available yet, thanks to delays in the production of consumer models and support thanks to that pesky COVID-19 pandemic, the possibilities of it are already extremely exciting, and it's very likely that this is going to be a game changer for technology going forward. One of the first big things to mention that is a new feature of Bluetooth 5.2 is the low energy power control. 
now. Low energy was first introduced all the way back in Bluetooth 4, but at that point in time, it wasn't quite sophisticated enough to be used with most practical applications, such as streaming audio, which is again, what most people use Bluetooth for. Instead, it was really only relegated to use with much smaller scale applications, such as with uh, Fitbits and fitness watches and other things like that. With Bluetooth 5.2, much larger amounts of information can finally be transmitted over lower bandwidth and using lower amounts of power. This is achieved thanks to the new LC3 codec. This codec allows for information to be much more compressed on the input side, which may at first sound like a bad thing, but the reason it works is because it is decompressed much more efficiently and much faster on the output side. This is great news for those who have been searching in vain for really high fidelity Bluetooth audio because the quality is just gonna be much better and the fidelity is gonna be much higher. This is because that audio information is able to be compressed really, really small on the input side, which saves time and energy, but the audio won't lose any quality thanks to the speed and the efficiency of the decode on the other end. This is really exciting and puts us one step closer to truly great hi-fi Bluetooth wireless audio. 5.2 also offers an enhanced attribute protocol, which allows parallel transactions between two Bluetooth devices to occur simultaneously. For instance, this would be super helpful if multiple apps on your smartphone are using a Bluetooth device at the same time. Instead of the operation of one being in use while the others are blocked, these can now all operate simultaneously. Finally, perhaps the most interesting innovation of Bluetooth 5.2 is the use of isochronous channels. What this means basically is it takes the idea of the dual audio feature introduced in Bluetooth 5.0 and takes it even farther, thus allowing for multiple connections of Bluetooth devices to single sources. So if you were using wireless headphones at home on your TV, your laptop, and your smartphone, instead of having to switch between the three whenever you wanted to use them, or even having to pair and then unpair to the other ones, you can be connected to all of them simultaneously and it can switch pretty seamlessly between the three. So if you're watching a TV show and you're streaming that audio, but you get a call on your phone, your Bluetooth headphone can automatically switch to the phone audio and then go back to the TV or even to your computer if you wanna then watch a YouTube video or something like that. And while that is super convenient, it is even more exciting in terms of the broadcast possibilities that are introduced here. Once Bluetooth 5.2 is highly integrated and we are allowed to publicly gather again, it is entirely possible that you could walk into a sports bar, see something interesting on the TV, and then tune your Bluetooth wireless earphones to that stream and be able to receive the audio directly into your ears. Even beyond that, it is possible that everyone watching could be able to select their own language stream of whatever that broadcast is. This obviously would be pretty revolutionary stuff and would even just go beyond our own convenience for socializing purposes. One of the unexpected surprises of Bluetooth 5.2 is that it also also introduces a potential revolution in hearing aid technology. This could allow the hearing impaired to beam whatever they need to listen to right into their earpieces instead of relying on traditional microphone and amplification technology. The possibilities of all this and more make Bluetooth 5.2 really interesting to keep an eye on and really exciting as a thing that could be widely implemented in the future. While it may be an update that has occurred over just one decimal point, I truly think that Bluetooth 5.2 is gonna be revolutionary in the way it allows us to be entertained, in the way it allows us to interact, in the way it allows us to communicate, and I'm very excited for it. All right, guys, that's it for today. I hope this video was helpful to you. There is not a lot of information out there on Bluetooth 5.1 and 5.2 that is easily digestible. So if you found this at all valuable, then please give this a like and comment down below. While you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also consider following us on Instagram over at Audio46. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Franco with Audio46, your headphone destination, and I will see you all very soon.